Hello YouTube, wanted to do just a quick thing of how I'm sourcing online. Not really intentionally, I am scrolling through Facebook, just looking at stuff, and I get these product ads. I get all sorts of ads, <laughs> and it's nice because it's mostly tailored towards retail arbitrage because that's what I usually am doing on my phone. So my advertising is all over the place, but uh, a lot of different things. So I have seen so far this morning, like top gadgets to get for Christmas this year, House of Dragons hot hottest items. So I will look through those lists to get ideas on what to be sourcing for. So this one, I just wanted to walk you through real quick. Came across this, Disney products. We got baby Grogu here. We got all sorts of cool things going on and it leads you right to the link of where they are. And it's good to kind of know what's going for what. So the goldfish caught my eye because he's pretty cute. We got back to school. Back to school items might be going on sale or pretty hot right now. I'm in Vegas at AST, so that's why I'm, it's relocated me to, to Vegas here. But we've got a price point of two thirty nine. So I already pre-did all this, by the way. So I went to um, Amazon, typed in Grogu Goldfish Crackers, and we've got a couple going on here. The second one is the Mandalorian. And he might be actually better, I'm not sure, with Baby Grogu and him holding it. Which I believe is also sold at Target. But anyhow, I was going down this rabbit hole that I wanted to show you. We, I gotta stick to one rabbit hole. One rabbit hole or we'd be on the video forever. So we've got him here. You know, you want to make sure it's the right one. The packaging is good. If you do any sort of online pickup or ship to your house, you're going to want to make sure, especially with the cracker, that one, you don't order it with heavy things. Or they'll they'll put crackers in like a jar of candles in, in the same box with no packing and just let it be destroyed. Target has a pretty good return policy if that happens. A lot of times they don't ask for the item back. Um, but if I was going to order this, I would order it by itself so it didn't happen that way. And or do store pickup because then I can check the expiration date. And if I'm at the store, you want to make sure you have a good expiration date. At ASD, I had some guy try to tell me that, oh yeah, we've got good expiration dates. And it was going to be a Christmas item and the date was February of next year. <laughs> That's not far enough out. I really want to need, really want to need. I really need to want. I re okay. I need the expiration date to be more than three months out. So, you know, I, I wouldn't get anything realistically prior to April of 2023 right now. And we are on, what are we on? August 22nd? Anyhow, back to Grogu. We've got him in stock. He's a four pack right now. And if you scroll down right here, we can find the, uh, the ASIN. So all I did was go like that and I copied. It is 152,000 in grocery, which is a lot. I did not check the keep a graph. I went over to my Amazon seller app, put it in, and kind of did the math. So it was two thirty nine, works out to about ten dollars a box. I would definitely put this in a box. Just the nature of it. Uh, you probably could get away with a poly bag, but I would probably want to do a box for these guys during the Christmas season. Like all of those lovely Milan cookies. I don't know. They're really delicious cookies with the M. They're kind of packaged like this. I put those in boxes. I put these in boxes. Do a lot of merchant fulfilling with these types of things. So they just go right in a box and you ship them out. And yeah, boxes cost me between 50 cents and 80 cents. So you're looking at about a less than $11 purchase and a $4 profit. Now that's not amazing by, by any means. It's, it's okay. It's profitable. The only thing stopping me on this bolo right now is the rank. And my next step would to be go to, would to be, go, oh my gosh, I'm going to keep drinking my coffee. My next step would to be to see how old this listing is. Because if it's only maybe 20 days old, it could have potential for Q4. Uh, it, it might be a fairly new product. And then if we go back here. 
thought they had done a variation. No, we had seen, we had seen this one. They had done two separate listings, not not linked together. But we've got um, the Mandalorian over here. Let's check out what his rank is really quick. Do 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 one eighty seven. So. You know, right now it's not the greatest rank, but this is a product I would recheck later and see what did the price go for? Is it still hanging at $24 or did it price tank down to $19.99? And if it did, then that's not going to be a good buy. However, sometimes these goldfish go on sale and you can get them two for four and that makes it more in your favor. Or you can stack different coupons or cashback type things with it making it more favorable. So this is one that I will be looking out for. And then I think it would be wise to make a listing that had both one pack of each or two packs of each and perhaps, you know, make it competitive for this. So if you're looking at this as a customer point of view, you can either get Baby Gogu or you could just get Mandalorian or maybe have a listing that you get one or two of each and that would be appealing to me from a customer standpoint. All right, just wanted to go through some of the rabbit holes I go down. I'm going to look at the other Baby Grogu stuff and keep an eye out for back-to-school shopping. Squishmallows are on sale right now at the Walgreens. They had a sale at Kroger this weekend over the Squishmallows. And what else? Back to school. I said back to school. <laughs> and any other trendy thing coming out for this Q4. All right, guys, take care.